Hey everyone, Jenna Sullivan here to kind of put some myth to rest. <laughs> that's, that's always the fun part of my job is to kind of help you guys understand something that may be a, a myth out there. So we're going to actually be doing this coming week a video on how to make your own sunscreen. But I wanted to get on here and talk a little bit about a myth that is that goes around all over the place all the time that essential oils have uh, SPF factor, essential oils have uh, vitamins and... Um, different nutrients in them. Uh, I hear all the time citrus oils have acid in them. I hear that citrus oils have uh, good vitamin C. <laughs> okay, these are all wrong, <laughs> okay? So um, not a single essential oil on the planet has an SPF factor, and if you try to take carrot seed essential oil and rub it on your face, you're gonna get burned, <laughs> okay? Not good, um, and no, you know, lemon oil does not have acid in it. it. It's, you know, if you use it to brush your teeth, it's not gonna strip your enamel. Um, it's the monoterpenes that are helping cleaning off the crap on your teeth that help make your teeth whiter. Uh, it is, um, oils do not have any nutritive value in them, meaning there's no vitamins in them. There's, they're not high in vitamins, okay? There's zero vitamins uh, because that's not how they are, okay? Uh, vitamins and nutrients, stuff like that are, are heavier. Uh, the essential oil is the very lightest, most volatile part of the plant, and so it is stripped of any of that. So why do you hear people saying, like, make sure you use certain essential oils in a sunscreen? Um, only to help the skin, right? We know that lavender is, is very supportive of skin. Manuka is very supportive to skin. Uh, carrot seed oil, essential oil, is very supportive to skin. So why the confusion? Um, the confusion just is in the words. Uh, people say, you know, carrot seed oil, and people think, oh, carrot seed essential oil has SPF. Um, it's the carrier oil. And so carrot seed carrier oil has SPF. So many carrier oils have been rated at different rates, you know, anywhere from like 18 to 35, something like that. So when we create a, a sunscreen, it's not sunblock. Sunblock would be like a towel over your arm. <laughs> That's block or a hat. Uh, sunscreen is helping your body to be protected slightly for a certain amount of time. And so when we get into making sunscreen, we're going to use a zinc oxide powder, which can be very harmful if you get it into your lungs. And so there's controversy over that. Well, it's not toxic, but you're not supposed to breathe it in because it's a very fine powder. So you shouldn't have your babies around you when you're making it. Uh, you should actually wear a mask or just take a, a towel and put it over your face when you're adding it in the blending mix. But just know that that is one of the main factors. We add, um, we add to that carrot seed oil, carrier oil, and we add to that um, red raspberry seed oil. So these are very expensive carrier oils. Uh, and you want to make sure you're not getting anything refined. You want to get as raw as possible. But this is... This is why it's like so important to not believe everything on the internet because there are so many graphics going around that show, you know, they show, I don't even know where they come from, but some moron, sorry, but some I, I, well-intentioned idiot, right? I mean, we all are idiots and I, I, I laugh, you know, you're we reading James this morning at church and, you know, as, as a teacher, you know, I will be more harshly judged. However, it also went on to say that no man is perfect. <laughs> Right? Like, we all will get it wrong at some point. So some well-intentioned person, and I could have been somebody that had done that in the past. You know, that, I mean, I haven't, but I mean, I have probably given you false information not knowing. So some well-intentioned person put together a SPF factor of essential oils. And um, don't know where they got their information from because literally it's completely false. And I don't want you guys to go out in the sun thinking that you can put carrot seed essential oil on. I did that one summer. I thought that because I read that somewhere and I took carrot seed and every day I would put carrot seed essential oil. It stinks. I hate the smell of carrot seed essential oil, but I would put it on my face every day and it did not protect me from the sun, <laughs> like at all. So. That's very important to understand that you will get burned very badly if you think essential oils are gonna help protect you from the sun. That is just the biggest myth out there. So please don't um, do that. What we wanna remember is we're using natural products that actually do have SPF in them to create that. And we're adding essential oils in 
not only to make it smell better, but help support the skin, right? It's not SPF, but it's supporting healthy skin or more healthful skin as we as we move forward. So next week we're going to be doing that. You can add your friends and tag them maybe in this one just as an introduction so that you understand kind of where I'm going with this. Uh, and I, I want you guys to know that this recipe is in the Make and Takes book. It's the Essential Oil Make and Takes book that was just released last week. And um, you guys popped it to the number one bestseller in the first day. So that was pretty cool. Um, it's just been amazing to, to see this, the um, how many of you guys are getting them in and are excited about it. So that recipe is in there. So I would encourage you guys to order the um, recipe items. And what I do is I buy small quantities. So like when you're trying something out for the first time, uh, you can go on Amazon and look for like one ounce of the car you know, the carrot seed carrier oil and one ounce of red raspberry seed oil. They're hard to find. So just look for organic, unrefined, like pure, <laughs> okay, as raw as possible. You don't want anything that's been over refined because it's actually going to mess with the SPF. S SPF. Um, there's a company that is um, trying to remember their name. Um, something Aromatics. I am terrible with names of companies, but they also sell essential oils. Their essential oils are actually quite terrible. Um, we used to use them in a product that we were trying to do many years ago and it would give me the worst headache on the planet and they're just they're just not great oils but they do have a lot of stuff meaning they do carry good prices on you know good quality zinc oxide uh, I think they carried the essential oils um, new directions that's it new directions aromatics I think I, I'm not sure um, what their deal is with the oils but just know they have zinc oxide at a good price. So that would be something or just go on Amazon and look for that okay so they have a lot of cool products um, but I wouldn't recommend their oils. Again, that's just me, uh, but their products are good. Okay, so we'll see you guys soon, and uh, summer's coming, so we wanna protect our skin, and we don't wanna believe that myth, do not believe that myth that essential oils have any um, SPF in them, because they don't. All right, uh, watch the replay if you missed this, and I will see you guys in just a minute. More coming at ya, bye.